Hello friends, welcome back to Develop with Saurabh YouTube channel. In this video, we will continue our Jasper reports with Java tutorial. If you haven't already, check out our playlist for better understanding. Today we will cover the basics of Jasper reports and Jaspersoft Studio. In future videos, we will design a simple reports. Let's get started. Now open your Jaspersoft Studio. You will see the interface like this. Uh, here you can see that repository tab is there repository explorer tab is there project explorer tab, tab is there uh, on the right side here palette tab is there uh, properties we have properties tab problems uh, on left corner here we have outline report state console errors and statistics so if you if you are not seeing uh, interface like this click on window click on reset perspective click again on reset perspective it will reset your perspective and you will see all the tabs which are missing now let's create a new project click on file new project here you can see that under Jaspersoft Studio tab, we have Jasper Reports project. Select that one, click next, give an appropriate name uh, to your project without any spaces. I will give project name as Jasper Report Tutorial. Click on finish. Wait some time, our project is created now. Let's open that project. Open that project. Here you will see GRE system library, Jasper reports library, Jasper soft server library. So let's see one by one what's in this. Here are Java related files that are used in used by IDE to generate reports. Here are some Jasper specific libraries which contains classes that are used in Jasper reports. Here you can see Jasper reports 6.17.0.jap, Jasper report chart customizers, and various uh, various jar files that contains classes that are used in Jasper reports to to generate reports. Now let's create one sample report. Right click on your project, select new. Select Jasper report, select first option blank A4, click on next. You can you can name your JRXML file here. You will name it as demo 1.jrxml. Click on next. Now here you will see a data source option. Now if you expand this, you will see that here are number of database sources uh, you can fetch your data to gen in order to generate the report. Here you can see one empty record data source. Here is uh, some custom BMS data adapter that I have created. Uh, here is Bean data source, custom implementation of GR data source. We will see in future videos what is JR data source, Bean data source and for now let's select one empty record as data adapter. Click on next. Here you will see congratulations window. Uh, click on finish. Wait for some time. Now you can see that here design view is open now and in the palette section you will see that here are some basic elements uh, such as note text field uh, static text image break rectangle ellipse line generic frame sub report barcode list uh, chart cross tab table, map, spider chat and custom visualization. Now under composite elements 
you will see that page number total pages current date time percentage and page x of y these elements are used to show page numbers total pages current date time percentage and page numbers on the pages now in the middle you will see that we can design our report here and you you can see that uh, report has some basic elements such as title page header uh, column header detail column footer page footer and summary these are the bands of jasper report design now you can click control and scroll your mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out the page you can always change the zoom in percentage from here now here at the bottom you will see there are three tabs design source and preview tab so preview tab is used to preview your report now we have not designed yet anything so that's why it is showing blank report now here under outline tab you can see your project structure uh, with respect to design tab you will see that here are some parameters here are parameters fields sort fields variables and under variables here are some more page number master current page master total pages column number report count page count column count variables which are predefined uh, here are here we have scripted uh, then you will see project uh, structure title page header column header detail column footer page footer last page footer summary no data and background so in later videos we will see how we can design a simple jasper reports in jasper soft studio and we will also generate that report so stay tuned for next videos and if you like our content make sure to subscribe to our channel